Hello booktube, my name is Adrienne and welcome back to my channel. I apologize that I have not had very many videos out, but if you saw my October wrap up, which I believe was the last video I posted, uh, you may know that I had our daughter back at the beginning of November and therefore I haven't been posting very much because I've been a little busy adjusting to life with two kids and you know, a crazy toddler and a brand new baby. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to sit down and film and I have been very busy to say the least. If you have two kids, if you have one kid, you know how busy they can be and how much energy they have. So again, I apologize that I haven't been able to keep up with videos. However, I, uh, I am loving having two kids no matter how crazy life has gotten. So my daughter is sleeping in her rock and play right behind the camera. And so I'm hoping she stays asleep that I can film this video. Um, if she doesn't, I'm going to keep trying to film the video and just hold her so you may see her, you may not, we'll see. But because she is sleeping right behind the camera and my son is sleeping in his room and has been for a couple hours so he's due to wake up soon, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video because I have a lot to talk about for this wrap up. Um, so for my statistics, I had read eight books in the month of November, which is pretty good considering I have a new baby. Uh, that came out to 2,911 pages. As for ratings, I rated one book three stars, two books two books 3.5 stars, four books four stars, and one book 4.5 stars, and then I had no five star reads this month. Um, I made a TBR video at the beginning of this month, and in that video I had 11 books that I was hoping to read across three um, readathons. I managed to read three of those books, and uh, none of them were during the readathons. So I will link that video if you want to see it, even though it's not accurate anymore. But uh, yeah, I will link that in the cards if you are interested in checking that out and seeing what books I had hoped to read and didn't. However, I did end up taking part in the Mini Moji Readathon at the end of the month, which was the 11, which was the 23rd to the 30th. And I did get two books finished for that TBR, which completed eight of the emojis and then they were the last two books I read of the month obviously so I will talk about those when we get there but uh yeah let's go ahead and get into the books that I read in November because like I said I'm trying to beat the kids sleep schedule. <laughs> so the first book I read in the month of November was Reunited by Colleen Hoke I believe is how you say that last name. Uh, I gave this book 3.5 stars. This book is the conclusion to her Reawakened trilogy, which if you uh, do not know what these books are about, the first book is called Reawakened and it is about a girl named Lily who happens to be in the mu Museum of Natural History, I believe, at the same time that they are setting up for a new Egyptian exhibit with a mummy. And when she goes into that exhibit, uh, she finds the mummy awake, reawakened, and he ends up binding them together, their life force together, so she is forced to help him basically save the world. And this is the conclusion to the series. I, like I said, I gave this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really did enjoy this book quite a lot. I thought it was a really good conclusion to the series, especially because of how muddied the waters got in the second book, and I had no idea how we were going to wrap up this story in a satisfying way, and it did a really good job. I only gave it 3.5 stars because a lot of this book is kind of build up to a big thing at the end and it was kind of boring build up. It was a lot of setting the scene for how we're going to conclude and it was a little bit boring at times but um, because there's a whole storyline that I'm not going to tell you about because it'll obviously spoil it but because of that we spent a lot of time in this book rehashing stuff from the first two books and I already read the first two books I already know that stuff I don't I don't really need that but a character well some of the characters in the book did so it made for a lot of repetition that I really didn't care for but it will overall it concluded the story very well I didn't feel like there were any loose ends it was just a very good story so yeah 3.5 stars at the beginning of the month and then the next book I read in the month of November was actually the book that I had planned to read from for Barathon that I didn't read during Barathon, but I did read, and that is Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear. This is the first book in the Precious Gemstones trilogy, I believe. Um, 
this book was a reread for me. It was originally written in German and then translated to English, which is pretty cool. And I gave this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. I think when I first read it, I gave it a full 5 stars. So obviously my rating has dropped quite a lot, but I read this book for the first time back when I first discovered BookTube, which is like 2013 or something like that. So it has been a long time since I read this book and I have read so many books since then and grown so much as a reader and in what I like. And so I still really enjoyed this book, but it wasn't quite a five star read for me anymore. And that's okay because I have no problem with that. It was still a really, really good book. Um, if you do not know what this book is, it's about a girl named Gwen and her family is has the genetics for time travel and through some sort of math or something they have been the secret society that uh you know they are a part of because they are have this time travel gene has predicted the dates of the birth of each of time travelers only one person in each generation gets the time travel gene and uh gwen's cousin is born on that date she is the one they think is going to be that is going to be the time traveler and her cousin has been trained her entire life to be a time traveler. All the things she needs to know to get through with the goal of the secret society and to, you know, fit in in all time periods, she is trained in that and Gwen is not. And then suddenly Gwen ends up being the time traveler. She is the one who gets the genes because her mother lied about her birthday what the day she was born because she wanted her to have a normal life and so then Gwen is obviously thrust into this world of time travel and has no idea what she's doing she doesn't have any of the training that her cousin did her cousin's kind of pissed off about the whole thing and it's just a mess and so she uh is you know thrust into this time travel world and she meets uh the male counterpart to her each generation has a male and a female the male is from a different family line a completely different family. Like I said, I gave this book 3.5 out of 5 stars. I really did love it. Um, there were a lot of times where I, Gwen was complaining about things that I didn't feel were necessary to complain about. Like, she, the girl's got a lot of stuff to deal with. I mean, she's suddenly a time traveler and she didn't expect to be, she didn't want to be. And uh, it's just, a, her life is a mess. She's got a lot of legitimate things to complain about. But the things she chose to complain about were, I didn't feel like were legitimate or necessary. But overall, it was a very good book. Uh, just like it was the first time, I just have matured a lot. So there were things that are a little bit more nitpicky for me, um, which took it down to 3.5 out of 5 stars. Um, so yeah, that was my second book of November. So the last few months, I have been in a bit of a rereading kind of mood. And so I continue to rereading books this month because that's just what I wanted to read. And I have no problem with that because I don't have a crazy number of books on my TBR anyway. So the next book I read was also a reread and that was The Air by Kira Cass. This is the fourth book in the series, but I consider this the first book in a companion duology uh, for this selection because uh, it this book follows um america singer's daughter edlin and america singer is the main character from the the protagonist of the first three books this follows her daughter uh, as she goes through a selection and so i when i first read this book gave it five out of five stars uh upon rereading it i gave it four out of five stars because like i said i have matured in my reading quite a lot and i no longer have a problem giving books that i really enjoy less than five stars i used to think that if i was going to read a book and i really liked it i had to give it five stars it didn't matter if i had issues with it and i clearly don't think that anymore so i give this book four out of five stars um Evelyn drives me a little bit crazy as i'm sure she drives everyone a little bit crazy but all of the things that she does that drive me crazy are justified in her mind and I can understand why she is justified, she feels she's justified in that, but she was annoying. She just was. Um, the ending of this book uh, nearly killed me again the second time I've read it and it still nearly killed me. I love this book and this series altogether. They're not the best books in the world but they're really great and I really do love them and I reread them periodically and so this was uh, another reread for me and I really did enjoy this um uh, yeah like I said four out of five stars for the year like I said I did a lot of rereading during the month of 
uh, November as well as last couple months. And so the next book I read was The Crown by Kira Cass. This is the fifth and final book in the selection series and also the second and final book in the companion duology as I call it. And uh, obviously this concludes the story of the air. It's a much shorter book. It's only like 200 and some pages. 278 pages. It's a pretty quick read. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I gave this one four out of five stars as well. Again, the first time I read it, I gave it five stars. Second time around, I didn't give it five stars because I've grown as, an, grown as a reader. I don't know how many times I have to, I'm have i going to say that in this video, but hopefully uh, that's the last time. Probably not. I'll probably say it one more time. But I definitely enjoyed this one, and uh, that's all I really have to say about this one. After that, I read Anna Green Gables, the graphic novel. I do not know who this is by. I got this off of NetGalley to read through. It was a just open book. You could just download the PDF. You didn't have to submit for it. Um, so I read this arc off of NetGalley, like I said, and I really enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars. The art, the only reason I didn't give it five out of five stars is because the art style isn't for me. Uh, this is literally just the story of Anne of Green Gables, the book told in a graphic novel that it's literally the, exactly the same story and I love Anne of Green Gables it's one of my favorite classic books of all time and so I really enjoyed seeing it in pictures in a graphic novel I really loved it but the art style was just a little too cartoonish for me but it was still really cute and I feel like I would absolutely buy this as a physical copy one day to read to my have my kids read through it with me because it's very cute and it's a great way to take in the story without having to read the physical book. So yeah, I gave this one four out of five stars. After that, I listened to the audiobook of Better Than New by Nicole Curtis. This is a nonfiction book, and this was one of the books that I had planned to read for TBR Takedown. I read it during TBR Takedown, but that was the only book I read during TBR Takedown. So it doesn't really count. Well, I mean, I guess it counts, but I don't consider myself having done the readathon because I didn't actively participate in the readathon. But this was on that TBR. This is a nonfiction novel. It's a memoir by about Nicole Curtis and uh, her time fixing up old houses. She has a show called Rehab Addict on DIY Network, and I love her show. It's really good, and it was very interesting to hear. Um, it was very interesting to hear about her life and what was going on in her life behind the scenes, you know, her life that was happening during the show. Like she was talking about houses that I've seen in the, you know, in, in the show that she had fixed up and worked on. And it was interesting, like I said, it was interesting to see the things that were going on in her life, the, the things that were going on that were hard on her. Um, but I ended up giving this book three out of five stars just because, I mean, it's a memoir, it's someone's life. I feel bad reading someone's life. But I gave it three out of five stars because it's mostly based on the audiobook. Nicole Curtis reads the audiobook herself and that was really cool to hear her, you know, voice talking about her life. But, um, yeah, I just, it wasn't, the audiobook wasn't, the audiobook and the book itself, I guess, were not formatted very well. Like, they were kind of scatterbrained. Um, in format and the way things were laid out and the way she told things and it was very vague which I get it's her life she has the right to be vague but also I'm kind of like well why'd you write a, a memoir if you're going to be vague about your life but it was like I said it was interesting to hear about her life so I gave it a three stars which is just an average book for me. So these last two books that I read in the month of November I read for the mini emoji readathon and each one of these books completed four challenge four of the emojis and I will put the emojis in the bottom corner so that you can see what emojis they completed. Um, because I'm using iMovie I don't know how to put two images in at the same time. So I'm going to show you the book cover and then uh, it'll go away and you'll see the emojis and the emojis will probably stay there. The uh, just until I finish telling you what you know challenges it covered and then I'll bring the book cover back But the first book I read for the mini emoji readathon was Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maths I gave this book four out of five four point five out of five stars. I really enjoyed this book I didn't care for Queen of Shadows very much and I was kind and I really didn't care for Air of Fire I did not like either of those books, 
but I really enjoyed Empire of Storms and so I'm kind of excited to go eventually and get into Tower of Dawn and kind of see Kale's perspective from uh, you know his side of the story of what's going on during these events because I think that'll be really great um I've heard great things about it so uh I was very surprised I gave this book 4.5 out of 5 stars I have heard terrible things about this book um just about everybody I seen on booktube who's read this book hated it or just really really didn't like it and i really enjoyed it like i said i gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars um i can't give you a synopsis for this book obviously because it will spoil the first four books in the series a lot so um yeah i think that's all i have to say on this one i really enjoyed it um oh the um, challenges that it completed it completed, like I said, four of the challenges, four emojis. It completed the Christmas tree, which is a book with green on the cover. The ghost, which was a book that has been haunting your TBR for over a year. The Santa, which was a book that has bad reviews. <laughs> and the music, which was follow, listen to an audiobook. And then after that, the last book I read in the month of November, as well as the last book I read for Mini Moji, was Sapphire Blue by Kirsten Gear. This is a reread, obviously. Uh, again, I gave this book four out of five stars. Again, like with the other rereads, I gave it five out of five stars when I first read it, and I've grown as a reader, and now I gave it four out of five stars. Um, this is a continuation from Ruby Red. It literally picks up like two minutes after Ruby Red does, which is kind of cool. But, um... Yeah, this is just a continuation of Gwen and Gwen's story and her life and what's going on and the drama that it has ensued since, uh, you know, that was taking place in the at the end of the last book. It literally picks up right in the middle of it again. Um, so yeah, I gave this book four out of five stars. I gave you the synopsis for Reread. I'm not gonna send out, give you a synopsis for this one because it's you know gonna spoil everything in the first one. But this was good um and yeah oh the um the challenges that this completed again i said it completed four challenges the first one was the hanukkah menorah emoji which was to read a book with a reflective cover i don't know if you can tell that that's reflective but it's really shiny uh it was the plate and knife uh food emoji and that is a book that t it talks about family and food or food and um this book is all about families and um, family trees and generational stuff. It's it's messy, but it's cool. Uh, the Train, which is a book about travel, which I feel like I'm cheating uh, because it's about time travel, but I'm counting it. <laughs> and then it's also the freebie, the stack of books, which is the freebie. So yeah, that was my last read of the month. <sighs> So yeah, those were the eight books that I read in the month of November. I had a pretty good reading month in the month of November considering I had a baby and have been dealing, you know, with the adjustment period of having another, a new baby. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like I did a really good job reading this month. Um, I wish I could have taken part in more of the... Uh, more of the readathons that I wanted to, but I did not get to. I don't think I'm doing any readathons in the month of December. As for what I hope to read in December, I don't really have a plan. Like I said, I don't do TBRs, but currently I am reading Outlander. I am almost done with Outlander. This is a reread because I want to try and get into Dragonfly and Amber and Voyager, which are two audiobooks that I already own. And my goal is to try and get my goal for 2018 is to try and get through all of the audiobooks I already have. Um, and that's because I have a lot of audiobooks on my phone that I haven't listened to. And um, I constantly keep getting new ones that I don't read. So I really want to, to get to them. The two big ones that are hindering that are the Outlander books. And I read the Outlander for the first time in December of 2015. So it's been two years since I read it. And so I wanted to revisit it, go through it again. I'm almost done with it. So uh, look out for that on my December wrap up. But uh, other than that, I don't really have a set plan for December. Um, I've got a bunch, I'm hoping to read some Christmassy or winter books. I have one or two out from the library right now that are winter style that I'm going to try and read. I don't have them 
I'm in a corner. I'm not getting up to go get them to show you. You'll have to wait and see them in my wrap up, hopefully. So yeah, uh, I think that is all that I have for this video for you guys today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have been here from since before November when I, you know, stopped me when I had my baby, uh, thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate you. Appreciate you. Actually, if you were back, uh, if you've been with me since back in January, which I've almost had this channel for a year, but back in January when I first started this channel. And you're still here after my multiple month hiatus when I first got pregnant and was sick all the time. Thank you so, so much. I so appreciate you people. I mean, I appreciate you guys just if you're watching these videos because, you know, that's why I make them is so that people can enjoy them and talk to me about the books that I've read. So that being said, if you have read any of these books and want to share your thoughts with me, I would love to hear it and talk to you about them. Um, yeah, so I try... I'm adding, I say I try to post videos twice a week. I post a video on Friday and then either Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on uh, what content I want to do uh, for that day. And um, yeah, that that is all that I have for you guys in this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.